So, holiday season. We have Christmas. Dimitri's birthday is on the 30th. And New Year. Can't believe it's already the New Year. Um, so the plan so far is pretty much Christmas on the road. I have no idea where yet, so we'll be going through that. So he has four major friends. So it's Raleigh, Turtle, TJ, and Janelle. So TJ and Janelle are husband and wife, and Raleigh and Dimitri have the same birthday. So I try to do it as a surprise to Dimitri and talk to Janelle and have her plan things and we just get there. But because of days off and needing to speak to his boss, I had to tell him. So I ended up telling him. So for his birthday, we're going to Pennsylvania, back to our hometown, to TJ and Janelle's house, and we're having a get together. So I'll show you some clips of that. I don't wanna just be recording all the time. So I'll just record bits and pieces or just record a lot and then see what we can get from that that's YouTube friendly. So that's the plan with that. New Year's, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay and then fly back to Florida because I need to get my two endorsements, my hazmat and my tanker. Or if I'm going to be on, back on the road with Dimitri so then we'll leave Monday and not spend New Year's in Pennsylvania. We'll spend New Year's on the road. Um, that's only if his boss can get us down to Florida to drop me off. If not, I'll stay in Pennsylvania until the second or third. So I'll have New Year's with my family, then we should be on the road, but we'll see where it goes from there. So I just wanted to throw in there what we're kind of be doing. So get ready for some more clips um, of the road, of the little gathering, and I will be back with you in a few. a story for you let it go your turn anyways we're here stuck in Omaha Nebraska we were trying to head back to Pennsylvania uh, to make it for the weekend of my birthday it's actually on the 30th so what had happened was we picked up in Denver Colorado uh, had some issues with my truck uh, two tires were bad had to get it replaced the place I went was a Love's and they took about four to five hours to get my tire replaced, both Forever. my tires. Yeah. So it ate up my clock also. Just kidding. JK. Also, it was a little bit. Um, I mean, it was only seven, seven hours away, but we had to drive through the night in order to make the delivery on time. Now. We had a load set up, but it canceled because the time we had to deliver was the time we had to pick up. Broker wasn't having it. It was the only load out of here. But it kind of worked out because when they opened the doors at my delivery, six pallets were shifted, basically yeah. fell. Um, and they, they don't touch it. The place that we deliver would not touch it unless we picked it up, which would take about four hours to clean up. But um, I wasn't going to do that. I was and driving all night. What was happening? Literally, this is the probably what the third time that when we go pick up from the same spot mm -hmm. in, in Denver. Yeah, this happens every time. I don't know if they're were rushing again or careless or whatever the case may be. But yeah, it was in the nose of the trailer. So like, typically loads are stable over there unless. They're just not braced right, not loaded right. 
Uh, if you understand the tail end, because there's a lot of bouncing around, especially if you're tandems. Uh, for for those who know about trucking, they know what the tandems are. For those who don't, we'll do a future video on um, stuff like that. But yes. uh, typically the back end of the trailer is where things move and things shift, and that was perfect. There was nothing wrong from the end of the trailer to all the way three quarters into it, and that's in the nose of the trailer where the product fell and it happened three times and we haven't had this problem with well any twice other... i've been there three twice? times yeah it happened twice the first time we had to pick it up right, uh time. to get to get us moving and it was but only three pallets we've never had the issue no with we, any other company well we went there once with uh with water and that didn't shift at all didn't no. move you know but the same company in denver uh, that loaded this trailer, loaded the other trailer, that product fell. and. But the water wow. that we went to the same place to deliver, they were, it was from a different spot. It wasn't from the same place in Denver. Yeah, it was, it was a different spot. Because the load shifted and we weren't going to pick it up, uh, and the warehouse doesn't pick it up, we had to reschedule and hire lumpers, uh, which lumpers unload the trailer and lumpers are i just said it i didn't hear that part i said lumpers unload the trailer oh <laughs> i got distracted um so the lumpers uh they unload the trailer and you have to pay them things like that well we don't our company does um but it just kind of put a hold on our plan to to get over to pennsylvania because now we can't deliver until the day after Christmas, early morning, which then the lumpers are gonna come unload it, and then we gotta get a load to get to Pennsylvania, which we wanted to be there by Friday, but it looks like we won't, well, we wanted to get there probably by Thursday, Friday, yeah, around there. Yeah, so possibly um, no more get together uh, for that Saturday. I don't think we're gonna make it. Yeah, that's apparently was the plan. Uh, they try to do a surprise, but um yeah don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> yeah i don't think so, it's gonna happen either i mean we might be able to make it there saturday morning it's only 1100 miles 1200 miles away um but but we'll it might see. be dinner or something instead of a get together with some of your friends we yeah. don't know yet i guess you will soon enough but yeah. we don't know at this point in time but it's a nice hotel we're at the ramada yeah we've decided to just Bite the bullet, stay at a hotel instead of staying in the truck for the yes all day yesterday and all day today for real on Christmas. So um, she found the place. It's a nice place. It's still the outside is a little scary. A little uh, scary. yeah, it's a bit sketchy, but yeah. it's not that bad. No, when you walk in though, like I was surprised, but it is huge. It's freaking huge. It's like a maze. I will get yeah, lost. Yeah, we we thought we were getting lost the first time we came in here. Yeah. Um, but. It is, it is big, but they have half renovated, half not. They're still in renovation. And which part but did we get? We got the non-renovated <laughs> room, but... It's, it's still cozy. It's still, still nice. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. still cozy, still nice. Still has plenty of room uh, for us and the dogs, so not complaining at all. Yeah, and they're pet friendly, like we said, for the dogs. So if you have animals, pet friendly... There's breakfast. They have a water park. They got a water park. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was yeah. neat. It is a little extra to go in, but it's not a lot. It was like, what, 20 bucks? I think it's 20 bucks per adult, uh, 15 for kids, but then at twilight hour, which I don't know what that is. <laughs> I want to say late night adult yeah, hour. Probably after that. No, not adult. It's just 10 for everybody. 10 out for everybody. So I guess probably like twilight. the last. Twilight. I say if twilight, to me, you say twilight, I say it's more adult. Twilight is a kid's movie. Twilight is not a kid's movie. Twilight is vampires, and I like that movie. It's a kid's teen movie. It's not. Movie. Okay. Maybe you're right. Teen. So I think of Twilight, I think of a <laughs> kid's teen movie. Nah, so. tween adult. I like that movie. Anybody like that movie? Please let me know. Trash. No. Let us know trash or greatness. But just to give you a little uh, overview on where we're at this is i don't know entertainment area it's not really called anything but they got the rooms on the side lower and upper and then where we were standing at is 
a wall of different stuff, but it's nice. On the other side of this wall, there's also a, what is it called? Fireplace? fireplace? Yeah, they got a fireplace. But over here is the bar. Nice bar. All hardwood. There's the fireplace and a humongous TV. They do have a, what would that be called? I know it's chess, but like. A chess board? Yeah, I know it's a chess board, but human size? I guess. Chess, it like it's size. huge. A huge chess board that we can play with. Not bad, something to keep you entertained. They got a stage um, and they're apparently having something for New Year's. But yeah, guys, this is us here at the Ramada for Christmas. Again, Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas. For our loved ones, hope you guys uh, enjoyed your Christmas, had fun, maybe blacked out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that's our little story here of why we are stuck in Omaha, Nebraska. This is us uh, <laughs> just sh sharing our, our Christmas story. We'll just put it that way. All right, our Christmas um, story. Yeah, so we'll see you guys uh, in a little bit. Got you, Janelle. Yeah. yeah, you're stuck. Did you? I was gonna say I was up to like four in the morning. <laughs> that was yeah, like a know. frozen <laughs> smile. <laughs> what? You were up to? Why'd you text me? We were on the phone when I was on my way home. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't tell me when you got there. You wanted me to just wait. So we made it to PA. Where are my dog? My dogs. <laughs> Where are my dad's house? They are dog sitting for us, and they have Duke, the lab mix. So, I just wanted to let you know what was happening. This is what's happening. Hey. Happy birthday oh, to you. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah. Just pull in there and then All right. Yeah. There we go. I'll do it. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Miss, I can't do it. She's an asshole. Okay. Very nice. So a little recap, we made it to Pennsylvania, we made it to the little shindig for Dimitri's birthday, we had our New Year's, and for that happy New Year's everybody, I hope 2020 brings you everything you want, need, positivity, clarity, happiness, and let's go in this new decade with a bang. And I just want to say again, Happy New Year. Thank you for watching our channel for the ones that have um, and for all the support. And you have a great one. I'm going to end this right here. Again, don't forget to like, 
subscribe and that notification bell. You have a good one. Deuces.